This is the only show we'll do uh, this year where we start the show with highlights from last year on to this year. You started off Monday night at uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Huh? Yeah, I, was, I didn't figure that out. <laughs> a little trick question. A little okay. flow this morning, Randy. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, we played at Little Rock on the 30th, which is really close to the end of the year, I would say. And, uh, you know, it was a great game, and our kids played extremely hard. And it came down to a situation where we should have won the ball game, but we didn't. And... Uh, you know, I think it, uh, Little Rock, again, has got to have got to get a lot of credit for there. But, you know, that's probably our third ball game this year that we should have we should have won. And uh, we didn't come out on the, on, the, on the top end. A team builds character as the season goes on, man. You've had some games I know have, uh, have uh, left its impact on your team. Maybe we saw that from just last night in the close victory. Well, we, we felt like that, uh, I felt like, you know, probably that we deserved to win this one. Uh, last night because we lost a tough one at Wisconsin and we lost at uh, Montana State where we should have won and then we lost at Little Rock where we should have won but uh, you know they're still up on us three to one so we still got two more buzzer beaters <laughs> and we can start the show with two more games or maybe one each week with the, the great three-point shot to win the game. Well we'll look forward to those won't we? Uh, let's check the highlights from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. The opponent Arkansas, Little Rock and uh, these two teams coached pretty evenly matched. This one was a nail biter. Yeah, this was a good ball game. As James Barnes hitting a big shot out of the corner. Our, our kids played tough. Uh, you know, uh, Tony Wofford there. He's playing uh, a super force. He he uh, just plays so hard. And, you know, I've always told. I, and I even tell our guys at practice. Good move by Curtis Shelton. If they would just sit back and watch Tony Wofford play, it would make them such a better basketball player than they, they are at the present. But, you know, the, the guys don't believe me. Uh, they're probably a third of the things I say. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm really proud of Tony Wofford. Here's a player by the name of Rod Wade. He had 29 points for Little Rock. Yeah, he shot the three. Uh, uh, good player. They, you know, they, they've, had, they've been struggling, too. They've had some problems. Had to suspend a couple players. And, and again, I, I try to relate to my players in that, you know, a team, if they're 8-1, and one, if we're 7-3 and three, when we go in there uh, against them, uh, we don't have any problems. Uh, Brandon Sam was hitting a, hitting a three. I mean, a, a, a nice basket wasn't a three. But, you know, Brandon's the type of kid that could really help our basketball team. But, you know, uh, uh, we've talked to Brandon, and, uh, you know, he's got to get his, get his game together and play at both ends of the court. And, you know, if he'd ever do that, then... He certainly would uh, would help our basketball team. That's Robert Green for Little Rock. A game tied 17 all at this point. Right. Uh, uh, we got uh, Devon Lake in the ball game. Uh, we started him uh, uh, during the ball uh, for the first time, and uh, you know it was a, it was a one point game at halftime, and there we had about 50 fans from Southeast Missouri State that made the trip. Or there's a lot of people that went to uh, Southeast Missouri State that's looked working in the Little Rock. Area. Cleo Conley, one of our former players, uh, was at the present at the game there. We turned the ball over and give them an easy basket there. Uh, uh, the thing about the, they missed the shot, but then they end up, I think, get, getting the basket. Uh, and that's where you got to really keep going and never give up because you never know, maybe that'll happen one time in a season, but that might be the time that you didn't hustle to get the second shot. Curtis Shelton here uh, nailing three. He had 25 points for you in this game. You know, Curtis is playing like a champion, and I said on my radio show after the game last night, uh, you know, he plays with, with, with his heart unbelievably, and, uh, you know, he just uh, he just works and gets the job done. There's great steal by Eddie Guns, and Eddie gave us some quality minutes, uh, good drive, and makes a three-point play. And there's our bench, excited. And that's what you like to see. Yeah, Eddie Guns uh, suffered a sprained knee in this game. Ended up setting out a game because of it. Yeah, he hurt his uh, hurt his knee late in the ball game. And you know they got some great athletes. They got some really strong kids that can get up and, and play the game of basketball. But I thought our kids played played tough. Well, one thing that we didn't do is we didn't get very physical with them, and they more more or less got really physical with us. There's Curtis going in and uh, forcing a shot up among the Giants. Uh, uh, and, you know, in that situation, sometimes it's better to take it back out and, and uh, set it back up. Well, you had a seven-point lead in this game, Coach, and that uh, went uh, down the pipe here, and uh, Little Rock's going to tie this thing, 71 all. Yeah, then we get an opportunity to win the game, and we really don't uh, do what we ran a clear for Curtis. Uh, 
uh, is, and, and we, we hung right in there, and, and the, the man helped, and they still they had an opportunity to win the ball game instead of us get an opportunity. And then when it went to overtime, we were just shot because, you know, we literally basically gave that ball game away. Uh, you know, we had the ball game in our hands. And all we had to do was execute, shoot free throws when we win the ball game. Uh, but we didn't, and then we ended up losing big, uh, like by eight points to him. Uh, tough on uh, on the other guy's floor when you go into OT. Also, I guess they always had momentum in that case. Well, they had the momentum because they they've been playing catch up the entire ball game with us, and uh, you know we had the lead most of the night, and then late in the ball game we got got a big lead, and then we turned it around, and then they got the big slam dunk, and the, and that really got the cr got the crowd into the ball game, and they were able to. Uh, uh, finishes off. Yeah, we'll see another slam here, but this uh, we'll wrap it up after this one. 85-77, uh, overtime win for Arkansas Little Rock. The uh, both teams were uh, four or had the same record coming into the game, so uh, it was a big win for Little Rock on their home floor, but a disappointing loss for you. Yeah, well, you know, we were both both teams have been struggling, and both teams have lost some tough ball games, uh, and uh, you know we felt like that you know the game was in our hands, and we just. We just let it let it get away, and hopefully, when that happens to you as a basketball team and a coaching staff, you, you hopefully you learn from those mistakes and you don't let that happen to you again. Well, after the road game, uh, beginning of a three-game home stand for Southeast Missouri, and first up was Oakland City College, and we'll check the highlights from that when we come back. 